because Hank here will never be able to afford one on his meager salary. My boy's a pump jockey. Works for tips. Dad, I do not work for tips. Pump jockey! Dad, I am not a pump jockey. Works for tips. I, I like the mower. It's got a lot of nice curves, like a pretty young woman. Hank's mower's like a dumpy fishwife. What are we waiting for, Luann? Um, maybe it's too soon since... Buckley's not getting any deader, Luann. It's time to move on. Yeah. Let's go! Ah! Are you all right? <laughs> it's just that they're playing Buckley in my song. Hey. Well, you gotta love a product with this many options and add-ons. See, that's where you make your money. You take your optional rear bag. Now, if I had a Mason dealership, I guarantee you, if you walked into my showroom, you'd ride out with that bag behind your ass. You know what? You sold me pinstripes for my escort. No, 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 no. Let me explain to you. I financed you pinstripes for your escort. Mm. So, if I'm hearing you people, this mower has surpassed your expectations and quite possibly your dreams? Now, hold on. Boomhauer, Bill, and, uh, uh, Rusty and me don't like it. Ah, of course, you don't like it. Anything I like, you don't like. Then when I say I don't like something, for example, your mother, you've got to say how much you like her even more. Please keep my mother out of this. How about you, Rusty? 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 Oh, Shackleford. Yes, I am pro mower. What? I like the ashtray. Don't be an idiot, Dale. That's the gas cap. He's an idiot. He can use it however he wants. Thank you, Colonel. <sighs> well, looks like we're pretty close to a consensus. Now, if we could discuss the electric seat warmer. Why would we need our seat warmed? That's what pants are for. Right, Boomhauer? I don't know, Hank, man. Well, maybe they will dang old get naked on that damn thing, man. I'm gonna heat my old little vibrate might feel good, man. So you're... In favor of the mower, Mr. Boomhauer. Man, dang, 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 listen, man. Ah, uh, Boomhauer. I'd like to make a point. I already made your point, Bill. We don't like it. We like the old model, thank you. Is that the point you wanted to make, Mr. Dotarif? Yes. No. Hank, you have been speaking for me for, I don't know how long. Years and years. Well, that sounds about right. Well, starting today, William Fontaine de la Tour d'Autrefe speaks for himself. boy, Phil. And what I have to say will rock your world. I like the cup holder. Bill, we can order you a cup holder and I'll attach it to your 1500. <laughs> no, no. I'm sorry, Mr. Hill. Mason doesn't make parts for models that are being discontinued. Your mower is, uh, oh, what's a nice word for obsolete? Collectible? Perfect. Bill's on fire today. Hey, yo, <laughs> yeah, way to go, Bill. <laughs> Your mower's obsolete, Hank. When something gets old and tired, you gotta trade up. You mean like you traded in mother for Dee Dee? I didn't trade your mama in. I trade in has some value. I scrapped her. Listen to all of you. You're hypnotized by a slick mower with all sorts of bells and whistles, and you're gonna fall for it. Well, I'm not. My mower is reliable, low maintenance, and has held up damn well over the years. I've got a good mower, and I have got a good mother. Well, it, so let's see a show of hands. All those in favor of the new model? Wait, are we voting for Hank's mom or the mower? The mower. Oh! Gentlemen, you've made it clear that this new mower is what today's consumer wants. When do we get our $50? We haven't earned it yet. This invitation specifically states that we are to discuss this new lawnmower for three hours from 9 a.m. to noon. We still have an hour and a half. Oh, oh man. Man. Come on. Give us a break, Hank. 